one and we're Hey, yep. everybody. Welcome to 7-Minute Health Chat with Robin and Kim. Today, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about a lung cancer awareness because it is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. And tomorrow is a really good day. <laughs> Great American smoke out. So Kim and I wanted to prepare you all, if you do partake in those cigarettes or those vapes, that maybe you can think about possibly stopping for 24 hours, right? Yeah, right. you could do anything right. for 24 hours, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so let I just want to tell you a little bit about um, Lung Cancer Awareness Month um, or, and why it's such a, a huge, huge problem. And that is that lung cancer is the biggest and the worst cancer there is out there in the world. And I'm going to read you this little statistic here. It says um, lung cancer is responsible for more deaths in this country than the next three most common causes of cancer death combined, which are colorectal, breast, and pancreatic. And I don't know about you, Kim, but I, <laughs> I'm always amazed when we do these and I do the research beforehand that blows me away. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. yeah, totally agree. In a way, in a way. So, um, and then I'll tell you a little bit too about the Great American Smokeout and how it came about. Um, there was a teacher and she had uh, wanted to raise money for a certain wherever and had got the people in the school system or wherever around that, that community to stop smoking and whatever they, for 24 hours, and whatever they spent on a pack of cigarettes to donate to this cause. So for me, that would be a great way. If you're like on the cusp and you want to quit smoking, there you go. Take and calculate up what you spend and then think about your favorite charity and what would you want to give to them? And maybe that could motivate you to quit smoking. And along with that, Robin, I have a friend who um, she talked about, she's now $3,000 richer a year because she gave up smoking. So that's 3,000 bucks Wow. times two because her husband smoked as well. So they both gave up smoking, saved $6,000 a year. On that's cigarettes. a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. I, I can't imagine know. spending that. No. I yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is, I'll just, I, I want to talk a little bit about secondhand smoke too. Um, Cause I'm like, again, I'm blown away by these statistics. Secondhand smoke causes approximately 7,330 deaths from lung cancer and 33,950 deaths from heart disease each year. And that's secondhand smoke. Um, I, I just, I don't, I, it's crazy. So if you care about your family, you care about your friends, think about harder about, you know, stop smoking. Cause it just not, it not only affects you, it affects those around you. And yeah. I always, I tell my mom and dad, cause they were both smokers. I blame them for my allergies. Um, because I was around that smoke all the time. And, you know, my mom will say now, Hey, I, 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 it probably was. And she feels bad too, because she smoked all those years and now she has COPD, which is a whole other, you I'm know, sorry. and yeah. it's tough. I mean, she takes breathing treatments three times a day. And, and when you can't breathe, that's one of the scariest things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I came from a household too, that, um, my mom and stepdad smoked, my brother and sister smoked. I was the only one that didn't mm -hmm. and the house always smelled. And I just remember in high school, taking a shower, washing my hair, stepping out of the bathroom. And then I felt dirty again. Cause all that smoke smell was like, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. So that's, it's just, um, it's a hygiene thing too, I think, but oh, for um, sure. Yeah. Craig and, Craig and I used to bowl in Florida when we were first married <laughs> back then you could smoke in the, in the bowling alleys. Right. And we would take our clothes off in the garage because they were horrendous. They just yeah. reeked. 
Yeah. Um, and, and I think you don't realize that when you are. I was just going to say, I, I was just going to say, you don't realize it. You know, our son, when he was little, went over his, his friend's house and he came home and I, I, I said, have you been smoking? And he was in the house where his friend's mom smoked. So, uh, like oh, so okay. Okay. He was not in trouble. Yeah. He was not. <laughs> No, no, I am. I like pounded that into my kids. You know, you're not going to smoke. You're going to go to college. You're not going to smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm grateful that my kids don't either. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, but um, radon is also another uh, cause of second of um, if you're not a smoker or not smelling the secondhand smoke. Radon can also cause lung cancer, which is you know that's why radon is so big now. It's everybody knows about if you're moving to especially having those radon tests if you have a basement. Right. Um, but some of the things you can do like to help your lungs for lung health, you know, stop smoking, obviously that's one thing, um, to eat antioxidant foods, um, your leafy greens, um, your vegetables, your things that are going to are high in antioxidants, your, um, extra virgin olive oil has polyphenols, all, all the healthy whole foods are going to be good for you there. Exercising is good, good for your lung health you know, getting the cardio, getting a good walk in and you don't, you don't have to get a full blown sweat going on, but at least get your heart rate up where you're walking quickly or, um, anything you can do to get your heart rate up for a little bit. So, um, and, and so many times I'll add to that is when you're a smoker, that's a tough thing for you to do. Yeah. Um, and I'll give an example. I do the fight for air climb every year. I didn't do it the last two mm. years because of COVID and, oh, um, uh, I, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. And it was it's 880 steps, 40 yeah, floors. Chicago has that too. Yeah. And so yeah. does Cincinnati. Cincinnati has it. They um, do. It. They do. Yeah. Yeah. But I will tell you, when you climb those stairs at that altitude, you can feel where like a person with COPD, you are gasping. And I couldn't imagine going through life yeah. um, like that. So just another thing to think yeah. about too. Yep. For sure. Um, and then Kim and I were talking previously before we got on here, or when we first got on here, uh, so many people I've heard say, well, I, I, that's why I vape. I vape because then, but let me just give you a few little statistics on that nasty vape. And I'm sorry, I'm, this is like tough love. You're not going to get any sympathy from me because I totally feel that smoking cigarettes and vaping are horrible. They're horrible for you and they're horrible for those around you. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. sorry. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. So in these, there are nicotine, nicotine is in, in those. Propyl, pro, propylene glycol, a common additive in food, also used to make things like antifreeze, paint solvent, and artificial smoke and fog machines. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to ingest that. Carcinogens, chemicals known to cause cancer, including, I can't say some of these things, alcetaldehyde and formaldehyde. And I had heard that formaldehyde uh, was one of the ingredients in there. And I don't think formaldehyde is what they like. I remember in high school, they used to preserve like stuff in science class in formaldehyde. Oh, yeah. Yuck. Um, acrolein, a, a, an herbicide primarily used to kill weeds can cause irreversible lung damage. Um, diacetyl, a chemical link to lung disease called bronch bronchiolitis. Diacetyl. Thank diacetyl. you. Um, anyway, these are a lot of big words. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I, I know. It, if it's there... got big words, you don't want it in your food and you definitely don't want to be ingesting it into your lungs, right? And yeah. there's other things, heavy metals like nickel, tin, and lead, um, benzene, which is found in car exhaust. I mean, think about these things, guys. Um, read up on it. The um, yeah. American Heart Association has a ton of really good information. And um, if you want to give to help with people with lung cancer and lung disease, like 90 cents on the dollar all goes to help cure you're, these. You're things. talking about the American Lung Association. Lung Association. Isn't that yeah. what I said? You said heart association. Oh, did I say heart? Sorry. Right. That's American okay. Lung Association. Yeah. Um, 90% or 90 cents on the dollar. So I, I like to stress that too. Cause I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm not giving my money. I don't know where it goes. And yeah, but it's, no, that's good. That's and good that's why know. I do that fight for air climb. Cause I know where that money is going. Right. Right. And I, and the other thing I will just add, cause I've done a lot of um, studies on nutrition and what we put in our bodies and, and things that harm us. 
And when you inhale smoke, all those um, chemicals, all, all those bad things you're inhaling are going to every cell in your body. Yeah. So it's yeah. not just affecting your lungs. It's going yeah. to your whole health. And you can tell smokers, you can tell the skin, um, their skin doesn't look, yeah. um, it, it, you can just tell, um, and it causes well, you get wrinkles, it's aging, aging. the wrinkled lips. Wrinkle. Yep. The, and it's, yeah. it's an aging, um, pro it's, it's causes aging quicker. Accelerates it. Accelerated aging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. who wants to, who wants that? <laughs> Ew, it comes quick enough. It comes yeah. quick enough. Exactly. So I'm going to look at our time and make sure we're doing okay. Oh, we're over. Of course. Okay. Um, just right. real quickly too, the Cincinnati fight for air climb, just so you guys know, because this is like local and Kim lives in Cincinnati uh, is May 22nd. The Columbus one is to be determined, but it's in June. Um, and I know there is one in Cleveland as well. Oh, it's May 15th. So okay. you can check all that out on the site. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not. And you can Google your own city and see if, if your own city hosts one of those. Correct. And it's all on the American Lung Association site. So anyway. All right. Good luck tomorrow. If you decide to do the great American smoke out, I hope you do. Um, it could be the next step to being healthier for sure. Yep, for sure. All right. All Thanks for having me. Thanks we'll everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.